Is everything okay, Mr. Blanca? You're looking good out there, Walter. You got an arm like a sharpshooter. It'll be a good game. A tough game. Those pitchers are good little fighters. Those can see him? Don't underestimate. They're killers. Really? They play like winning is the first of the Ten Commandments. And they got Danny Saunders at first. Blue, he's got in his club. Never misses a catch. His father is some big matter, and he ordered them never to lose, or it would shame the yeshiva, as some was sure going to think. Wow. If this Saunders, he hits hard. Like a rocket, the ball goes always right back at the pitchers. So stay alert in second. If you pitch later, be careful. I already told Schwartzy. Okay, Mr. Galanta, I'll look out. Good, now get out there. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Keep the ranks close. Go, Bert, move in. I can drive a battleship between you and Prostomen. That's it. Candle, what are you, looking for paratroopers? Keep your head in the game. The don't get to me, them for women, and for us, me spieling. Remember for what and for whom you play. Mr. Galanta was right, they were fierce. Their fielding was sloppy, their hitting uneven, but they were determined, particularly Danny Saunders. He never missed a catch. And his first hit was a stand-up double, a line drive straight to Schwarzy's head that knocked him on his toughest. It was then that Danny and I spoke, spoke our first words to each other. Nice shot. You always hit like that, straight at the pitcher. Yo, Reuben Malta? That's right. Your father's Davis is Malta, the one who writes articles on Talmud. Yeah. We're going to kill you, Abby Corson, this afternoon. Yeah, sure. Hey, rub your seat seat for good luck. <laughs>